My book is called Let Go of Worry and Fear, Live in the Moment and Love Life. Often when I'm working with people, we are talking about the future, all the exciting things that are going to happen in the future and working out strategies to get there. Sometimes I'm working with them letting go of the past because the past is weighing them down and they can't be present in the future and enjoy it. Now we're all, I think, at the moment very present. I think, I think there's also this element of, I can't wait to get out of this. I can't wait to get out of this. However, we are in a moment in time. We're all living in history right now. Um, we can't just be able to put it all behind us as something that didn't happen. Today might be our last day. Um, it might be the first day. And being present and enjoying every moment is pretty important no matter kind of what circumstances we're in, there's some joy to be had. But being present um, and being in the moment is dead powerful. So below here, I've added some little meditations and that is my, my biggest tip to you um, of all is to, uh, is to do some meditating. I'm gonna take you through a little meditation actually after this one. Um, but what we're doing in meditation, in a way, just trying to stop this blooming crazy thoughts that are going on around us. And at the moment, there's a lot of thoughts, isn't there? So what we want to do is just kind of turn things off for a little bit and give our brain a bit of breathing space. It's not a machine. If you're waking up at night at the moment with, and having crazy dreams and things like that, because your brain just isn't um, turning off. It's too much to think about, too much to process. So imagine that when I'm talking about being present, what I'm doing is helping your brain have a five minute break. And if it has a five minute break, it'll be fully operational for the rest of the time. Um, and I do little guided meditations, they're just five minutes because I know anybody who's new to it finds it all very difficult, but you'll be able to tune into me for five minutes on the ones below. Now presence, um, really being in the moment can also be really powerful without you actually um, having to meditate. You can be present in the moment while looking at um, flowers in the garden, or I'm gonna share a method with you where you can just have it looking at a spot on the wall. And you're kind of like de unplugging your brain for a minute. I'll take you through that in a minute, but I'll just tell you a little story about about something that happened to me and has happened to me a number of times since. I shared with you that my mum was very poorly and um, she had cancer and um, I'd been staying with mum and dad over Christmas. We had a very lovely, very, 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 very quiet Christmas together. A couple of days after Christmas, my mum and dad um, live in a place called Bridlington, which is by the sea. And my mum was very poorly then. And I woke up one morning at about five o'clock in the morning. It's the middle of winter, it doesn't get light until about nine o'clock. And my brain was, was going. My mum had always said all the way through her cancer, do not worry, do not worry. And most of the time I managed not, not to. But those dark moments when you wake up at that time in the morning and you're on your own, you know, you're just getting up for a bit. And I had this thought in my head, which was, go and see the sunrise. And I realised that at the age of 46, as I was then, I, um, I'd never seen the sunrise over Bridlington Bay. And it's on the East Coast. I was cosy in bed, but I just thought, oh, let, let's do it. So I got up, sneaked out the house and drove down to the, um, to the, to the beach. I got really, really, really lucky. It was the frostiest, frostiest morning. It was pitch black, but the frost was on the sand even. It was that cold. And um, I sat there and I was thinking, what, what time does the sun even come up? I'd gone down there about six o'clock and I don't think the sun rises till about quarter to eight or something like that. So I sat there um, really still. Um, I was hopeful about what was gonna, I was gonna see. And I got so lucky because <clears throat> It was frosty and there was not a cloud in the sky. And it, and it was pitch black. And then just this, the dawn started to, to come. 
and there was this little golden tip that started at the, at the horizon. And I just concentrated on it and concentrated on it and concentrated on it. And the gold came, the gold came. And I felt so connected to the sun. The sun then had this golden strip coming across the water. The tide was out and it was like one of those ripply beaches and all the little ripples of sand had water in them. So this trail of gold came to my feet and I was really mesmerized by this moment. And I felt just so at peace, um, so at peace, so, so calm. And I just thought everything was gonna be okay. And that's the real sense that I had that there was no worry in my th head at that point. There was no, there was terrible things happening in my world, but there was no terrible things happening in that moment. And that's about being present in that moment. There was no terrible things happening. I had another really, <clears throat> really big thought actually that day, which was how rich I felt. I felt like I've got all of this gold. There's all of, I'm surrounded by all of this gold. I feel so rich. And it was a beautiful thing. A bit of an enlightenment kind of moment. Um, and I've had that moment a few times since. It's a beautiful park at the bottom of, of my road. And in the autumn, the, 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 um, the leaves are golden. There's a bench that I always go and sit on. And I'll top, have a moment. And, and then I'll share the technique that I'm going to share with you now. And then, but, there's, but it's always when I'm surrounded by gold those golden leaves and I feel so present and connected with the universal energy, if you like. The other day I walked down, it was daffodils, I'm like, it's gold again, that filled me with joy and peace. Just being in that moment with that's all I could think about. So being present like that, it stills the mind, that's where the peace comes from, that's where the beauty comes from. So, um, Meditation can be difficult. I just think it's nice to do, um, to turn your mind off from everything else. That's why I particularly like guided meditation. I'm not making shopping lists while I'm listening to, to somebody else. But the thing for this to do is, is what you're almost trying to do, you know, um, so how you could get this, is there's something called peripheral vision and, and like folium vision. And, and what it is, is if you concentrate on a spot, say on the wall, say you've got a spot or crack in the wall or something, and you concentrate on it like really hard, like so you are concentrating and concentrating and concentrating. You're wanting your eyes to almost go fuzzy, um, and that fuzziness um, that, that comes as a result um, will help to turn your brain off make you feel very, very, very present in the moment. You can do it for a couple of minutes, for five minutes, you can just practice each day, pick a flower in the garden that you're just gonna stare at until, um, until you kind of feel that moment when your eyes kind of go. Now, a few years ago, I went to a, a rather unusual um, meditation style class. I like trying all kinds of things that I might think might be useful for me or for, or for my clients. Um, and this was a guy called Danny, and um, he was he was brilliant. And but it was very unusual. So what you did was you actually stared in the eyes of somebody else. You sat and stared in the eyes of somebody else. So if you have got somebody at home, hey, look, you're not going anywhere. You could really do this with somebody at home. Just stare calmly, get your breathing um, in sync, and just see what happens, you'll feel very connected to them. Although the, the particular exercise I'm sharing with you now isn't necessarily about connection. What I'm wanting you to do is just to be able to turn off your, um, turn off your mind a little bit. So I'm gonna ask, I, if you want to, um, if you want to practice this, you can practice it with me right now. I'm not sure how it'll work with it being a camera, but you never know. I'm gonna ask you to, um, just to let's see what's happen what happens for you and if you can manage to just get yourself into that really relaxed state. So first of all, um, and you would do this if you were staring at the wall as well, as you regulate breathing. Once again, you do your big breath in. But I'm gonna ask you to connect with me and just keep focused on my eyes. Okay, so we're gonna get into a regular rhythm. And then I'm just gonna look 
at you and feel connected with you and you are going to look at me and feel connected with me and we're just going to look each other in the eyes um, and just keep focused on it just keep focused on my eyes um, and see what happens for you in terms of your eyes and your vision and your focus and just see whether or not this helps you get into that really sort of um, folian peripheral vision um, and just letting the mind turn off for a minute because it's very re-energizing when it does okay so we're back we'll go back into that rhythm and then I'm just gonna sit for 60 seconds and connect with you Okay, take a big deep breath in. Oh, wow. I was looking in my own eyes. <laughs> and I managed to have quite a nice experience with that. So that's um, a form of meditation, a form of mindfulness, and a form of being present that's really powerful, and you can do it any time. You're kind of looking to defocus. You know, like you're going in a trance. That's okay, because what your mind is doing is just shutting off from everything else. Um, you can do it, you can do it like watching a movie or whatever, just, just when you're not thinking, you're just like, and appreciate those moments when they come, because they are really powerful for us. <laughs> 